man. Uh, I wanna I want to talk more about your blog. Uh, you started a blog called Bloated MVP. So first of all, what is a bloated MVP? Sure. Yeah. So uh, you know, I like to think it's kind of a catchy title. Um, bloated MVP. It just rolls off your tongue. Um, and it's funny because that word MVP, like a lot of people outside the startup community, have no idea what it's even talking about. Um, but it's a trend that I've been noticing. It's like um, if if you give me ten random startup founders, have a conversation with them, I would say eight out of the ten are a bloated MVP, which is pretty crazy. Um, so obviously MVP stands for minimum viable product, and a bloated MVP, my definition is just like you built more than you had to. So it wasn't even a good lean MVP. Like you think it's the MVP and it took you six months, but the real MVP should have taken you like a week and a half. Amazing. That's basically a bloated MVP. Awesome. And how did the idea for a bloated MVP come about? Like, I mean, obviously you've seen this a lot uh, talking to yeah, other founders. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So, um, you know, I've always wanted to start a blog and like get a readership, but my bottleneck to starting a blog is I don't feel like I have something to write about every day. And, or like I do, but it would take me like two hours, right, to like think of an idea and refine. So I was always like keeping an eye out for the idea of like, when can I start a blog where I just have like a theme, right? And I'm always like seeing patterns and seeing more examples on the same theme. And then finally last year, I'm like, I'm always seeing bloated MVPs. Maybe I should just start a blog on bloated MVPs because I keep having thoughts about the same topic. Um, and I got inspired because I kept seeing, um, I kept talking to startup founders and they kept showing me bloated MVPs and I'm like, doesn't YC teach you not to make a bloated MVP? Like, haven't you read that book, the lean startup? Um, and so I realized, I think that the world has like another niche for like more content telling you not to make a bloated MVP. I also think that, correct me if I'm wrong, but I also think, cause I know I, when I read lean startups about eight or nine years ago and I made the same mistake, I definitely did have a bloated MVP multiple times after even reading the book or even like listening to Paul Graham. I think you're absolutely right. I think it's just very hard to like, uh, like you, I mean, you can see examples of bigger companies and you can be like, oh, this was their MVP. But when it comes to your own company, I feel like a lot of times you don't know what that even means until you see actually see examples, at least in your space or, you know what I mean? Like a real, or someone actually explains it to you. Right. And that makes it so much, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And honestly, I think it's kind of juicy to take existing companies that have launched with millions of dollars of funding with like you have a team of like these five smart people, like these people could be making like uh, six or seven figures. They could be making a million dollars a year at Google. Uh, and instead, they've dedicated, you know, six months, 12 months to this project and the project launches. And then but when I see it, I'm like, wait a minute you're not going to get any users. Like you just took all this massive brain power, right? These super valuable economic resources yep. and you're not even going to create value to a single person. It's like if you had just like opened up like a lemonade stand and like served somebody some lemonade, at least that would have been a value transaction. But instead you did something which wasn't even like the most basic value transaction of giving somebody value. And and you think usually it comes from the place of like the ego where like a lot of people like, so they want to so prove it to the, because we're in that era of like, you know, the Instagram and all that where, once want to go out and say, hey, I'm an entrepreneur and I started a startup where it becomes less about what you're doing than more about the outside perspective? It's a good question, right? Like why are 80% of startups bloated MVPs even when everybody's reading the lean startup? Like how is this still happening? Yeah. Um, and I think it's actually the, the, the most fundamental reason that I've identified is actually um, it's a matter of uh, thinking specifically. Like the human brain is bad at thinking in specific detail and we like to toss around these general concepts and we never make them specific enough. So the startup idea, it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to use blockchain uh, to help you buy a house better because the blockchain will make your transaction like secure, um, you know, more secure and anonymous. It's like that statement doesn't necessarily make sense, but you can see I built it out of general concepts and I didn't say something specific like, Imagine you're in the Bay Area and you want to buy this house for $1.5 million. Normally, you would you would do this. You would go call up this broker and you would use this bank. But instead of that, now you can do this. So I'm starting to tell you a more specific story now. And most people's brains uh, are just content to operate at a level where they only toss around general concepts. And when it comes time to like get a user, they just haven't thought in specific detail of like, who is the user? Where is the user coming from? What is the first thing the user does? They just stayed, you know, they thought only in general terms. Like a perfect, like an avatar, basically, or a persona of a user. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe they've made a persona, right? Yeah. So they might have asked themselves a question like, who's this for? And they're like, oh, it's for, uh, you know, Bay Area people looking for a better deal. So like maybe they'll have come up with a category, but they won't, you know, if they've done really good work, maybe they'll narrow down the category to be like, you know what? It's for people in their 20s, right? So they can narrow it down further. 
But I bet that they haven't narrowed it down enough to be like, okay, what's their name? Like, right. what's the first person's name? Right. They probably haven't done that. And that is actually a red flag because you actually want to, to give me an example of a few names of who are going to be your first users or your first customers. And if you haven't done that, very likely you're building a bloated MVP. Interesting.